Hi, welcome to JTech and Grow. In this lab, we'll be looking at how to configure child virtual machines. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can go ahead and check out other test out videos or test out lab simulations on this channel and other IT related content. So let's get to work. In this lab, your task is to delete the server parent virtual machine. We are on the COP server, server manager. You go to tools and Hyper-V manager. Click on COP server. This is the virtual, this is the server parent virtual machine. We have to turn it off. It's running. It shows the machine is on. We cannot delete the machine when it's on. We turn off. And again, we right click and go now to delete. So we just deleted the parent, the server parent virtual machine. Set the D Hyper V virtual hard disk parent disk VHDX file to read only. Let's minimize this and this. So we have to go to File Explorer. Open File Explorer. It's on the D drive, as we can see. Click on this PC. Double click on the Hyper-V D drive. It's on the Hyper-V. Double click on Hyper-V. Virtual hard disk. Double click there, and here we have the parent disk VHDX file. Right click and go to properties, and here you can find read only. Check that, and okay, we are done with the second task. We can close this for now. The next thing we have to do now is to Create two different, create two different scene hard disk using the following parameters. Each hard disk has the same name, but uses the same has different name. Excuse me, but uses the same disk format, disk type, location, and parent disk. So we've been given the parameters. Let's go back to uh, Hyper-V Manager. So we have to create had, uh, two uh, difference in hard disk. We are here, go to new hard disk. Next, VHDX as it's given here. Next, click on difference in next the name has been given i'll just copy and paste next so here we have to choose specify the virtual hard disk that you would want to use as the parent for the new difference in virtual hard disk so the parent has been given here. You could as well just copy this, the file and paste ahead of this location. But firstly, let's browse and get it directly from the file explorer. In case it's not given here, you can follow the prescription to locate the file. So in this case, we have been given the file easily. You just double click and it's here. Next and finish that's for the first we have to create another virtual hard disk next please don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so thank you next different scene next the name for the second Hard disk. I'll just paste it there. 
next so in this case now like i said for the first one <coughs> excuse me you can just copy this and paste right ahead of this location next and finish so we are done with our two virtual hard disks the next thing is create two virtual machines using the following parameters each virtual machine uses a different name and virtual hard disk but the same location generation size and network so what you have to note here is for virtual machine with the name server one <coughs> excuse me winter is fast approaching for, for the name server one we have to use the server one vhdx virtual hard disk and likewise with server two virtual machine using the server two virtual hard disk so that being said let's do it virtual machine next name will be server one server one next generation two next the size is four zero nine six next the network type is external next so in this scenario in this case we have to we don't have to create a new hard disk we have to use an existing virtual hard disk which we already have and you browse for, for the server one virtual machine we use the server one vhdx virtual hard disk and that's it for the first virtual machine we do the same for the next virtual machine next the name is server 2 second generation 2 4096 next net connection is external next use an exit use an existing <coughs> excuse me use an existing virtual hard disk and you can browse and get it server 2 vhdx next and finished and I think that should be all for this lab let's check to see if we got it all correct and that's it please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you have any issues related to test out or any other IT related stuff challenge you're facing please do leave a comment at the comment section thank you see you in the next video